Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over another problem on our derivative collection. In this clip we're going to be going over how to find the derivative of cosine 1 over x. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, consider the problem if y equals cosine 1 over x, we want to find the y dx. Okay, so to get us started we're going to take a look at the e some differentiation rules that you want to keep in mind that will be applicable to this problem. So you want to of course remember your power rule if you have x to the n prime. The derivative of x to the n is n x to the n minus 1. You also have to remember that the derivative of cosine, your trig derivatives, derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Okay. Now just a little trick you want to keep in mind is that when you're differentiating the trig functions that start with C, cosine, cosecant and cotangent, you always are going to end up with a negative sign. Alright, so that's a little trick that can help you um, remember the derivatives when you're differentiating and you're confused as to whether the derivative is positive or negative. So the derivative of the C's is always going to be negative, okay? So keep that in mind. Also, you want to remember your your um, chain rule. So if you're finding the derivative of a composite function f of g of x, uh, that's simply the derivative of the outer function f evaluated at the inner times the derivative of the inner function, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and um, differentiate this function. Y equals cosine 1 over x. So our outer function, f, is cosine. Okay, so this is our f right here. Let's put it to the side. So our outer function, f, of x is cosine x. And then our inner function, is this rational function 1 over x. So let's pull that over here. Uh, g of x is 1 over x. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to apply the chain rule to this decomposed situation. All right, so what we're going to do is look for the derivative of the outer function, plug in the inner, and multiply that result by the derivative of the inner function. To get started, we're just going to go ahead and differentiate both functions first. So f prime of x, the derivative of cosine is negative sine x. g prime of x um, is the derivative of 1 over x. Now how do we differentiate 1 over x? There's a, a, a rule or a formula for that. Let's assume we don't know that. Um, is there another way to do this? Now you might think of using the quotient rule, but that's an overkill, okay? Whenever possible, if you can rewrite to avoid using the product of quotient rule, please do so. Okay, so can we rewrite 1 over x as a power so we can apply the power rule? The answer is yes. What we're going to use is a reciprocal um, property of exponents. 1 over x to the first power is the same thing as x to the negative 1. So now we have a power, we don't have to think about using the quotient rule, which is a pain. Um, we're just going to apply the power rule here to find the derivative. So the derivative g prime of x, applying the power rule is negative x to the negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2. And that can be rewritten as negative 1 over x squared. So the formula that I was talking about that you might want to keep in mind is that 1 over x prime is equal to negative 1 over x square. Okay? Now this is very, very important. Something to keep in mind, this is a trap that's always set in the AP exam. The derivative of 1 over x is not the natural logarithm of x or the natural logarithm of the absolute value of x, that's false, okay? 
the integral of 1 over x. Now, that is the natural logarithm of the absolute value of x plus c. So most students confuse this. They see the derivative of 1 over x, and they say, oh, it's natural logarithm. What's happening is that you're confusing integration with differentiation. The derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared, or you can rewrite it as a power and apply the um, differentiate the power rule to the situation. All right, so some things you really want to keep in mind. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the the chain rule. So it's f prime um, of g of x. So we're just going to take g of x and plug it into f, and then we're going to multiply that by uh, g prime of x. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm um, executing the following step. I'm doing um, f prime of g of x, the derivative of the outer evaluated at the inner, okay, and then that times, so this is what y prime is going to be, that times g prime of x, okay. So if we do that, we're going to have y prime is f prime of g of x, you just basically take 1 over x and plug it into the derivative, negative sine uh, 1 over x. Let me color code it so you can easily see what I'm doing here. So what I'm plugging into uh, the derivative of the outer function is the inner function g, which is 1 over x, okay? And then we're going to multiply that by the derivative of the inner function, which is negative 1 over x squared. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and simplify this, make it look pretty. Our final answer, let's see, what did we ask to find? dy dx or y prime dy dx? Our final answer, dy dx, is the same thing as y prime. Just two different notations for representing the same thing. dy dx is going to be... Uh, we have a minus here and a minus, so that makes it positive. So we'll have 1 over x squared sine of 1 over x. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the derivative of cosine 1 over x. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of the differentiation process, to give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments about the contents of this presentation, just uh, place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to um, support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're going to be including more differentiation videos in our derivative collection. So subscribe so you can get updates to that. And you can find a wide variety of resources um, and our collection of derivative problems at mathgotserve.com. So you might want to check that out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.